So this gentleman here with the glasses, would you come up on the platform? Can you? No, you're looking to the side. It's just you. Unless you have an imaginary friend. We cast it out now in Jesus' name. Now, see, come forward. I need a young person. Is there a young person here that would be comfortable enough coming up, knowing you're going to be on camera? Okay. So we're talking about the family. We're talking about patterns. How do we overcome betrayal of a loved one? It's when you get the revelation as a Christian that you don't have to battle for the blessings because you're the firstborn. You didn't replace the firstborn. And I'm going to give you the mystery. Genesis chapter 48, 17, and 18. Joseph has two sons from his Egyptian wife. And he asks his father to bless him. We've been talking about his dad. And you know what his dad's been through. And see, because of what you've been through, you learn some things. So now when Joseph saw that his father had laid his right hand on Ephraim, the second born. Ephraim in the Hebrew means fruitful, productive. It displeased him. So he took hold of his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head to Manasseh's head. And Joseph said to his father, not so my father, for this one is the firstborn. Put your right hand on his head. But the father refused and said, I know my son, I know. Remember when it's twice mentioned. He's accelerating. He is making a point. I know my son, I know. So when Joseph brought him in, he put the firstborn, Manasseh, which means I will forget my toils and the trouble in my father's house. And he has the firstborn blessing. And he says, I know my son, I know. He also, Ephraim, he also shall be my people. Because I know the pain of when two nations are being birthed together for purpose. I understand. You see, Manasseh already has the firstborn blessing because he is the firstborn. But he doesn't want to give the blessing to Ephraim and Ephraim have to battle for it the way he did. So he put a stop to it. And he said, I know, my son, I know. And he took his right hand of the firstborn blessing and he went like this. And Joseph says, no, dad, no. You see Israel and you see the church. No, dad, no, that's the goyim. They don't know anything about you. They worship all sorts of gods. And and he says, and he also shall become my people. And he also shall be great. For truly, his younger brother shall be greater than he. And his descendants shall become the multitude of the nations. Has not the body of Christ superpassed the Jewish people? The blessing. So he blessed him that day saying, by you Israel will bless. This is why Ephraim, the church, 
must bless Israel because they shared that firstborn blessing. May God make you as Ephraim. Listen to the decree. And when he made the decree, it looked like this. Can you bring your head over here? Sorry. (laughs) May God make you as Ephraim and Manasseh. And thus he set Ephraim before Manasseh to stand with the firstborn. What do my arms make? That's our family story. We don't replace. We both are blessed as firstborn to prosper, to have political influence and power. And we both sit at the Father's table and the ninth blessing of Passover that the adversaries become the Lord's adversaries. And he battles for us. And he never leaves us nor forsakes us. So Father, in this time, in Yeshua's name, I pray for each one of us that is watching each one in this house, that Lord, we take the blood of the lamb and we wash the feet of those who have betrayed us. We forgive them. We decree whether they molested you, raped you, abused you. I don't care what it is. Do you say, Father God, it's not a feeling. It's a choice. I choose to wash their feet. You washed Judas' feet and he was full of the devil. But you separated the sin from the sinner. He was removed from the disciples. They didn't rejoin with him. I'm not talking about rejoining. I'm not talking about tolerating that spirit, Jezebel. I'm talking about in your heart. The heart must forgive. Yeshua knew that Judas, it was even prophesied that he would be the betrayer. He knew it was for silver. We even see it in the redemption of the Afi Coleman bag in the Passover would redeem by silver. And but Lord, we choose to forgive and wash the feet in the spirit of every betrayer that has ever betrayed us this night in Yeshua's name. And now may the Lord lay hands on you and release the blessing of the firstborn in Yeshua's name. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap.